Uh, hi all. Uh, for podiatrists who assist or would like to assist in post-surgical care and to patients who have reached week three post-surgery, this video goes through the strapping technique that I use. The taping is continued for four weeks until the seven week review appointment. The aim of this taping is to support the medial joint capsule while it is healing. How have you been feeling? So this is two weeks post off, mm. and in this video we're going to show you how to do the strapping and so forth because you're going on holidays. Um, how has your pain levels been? I haven't had any. <laughs> I haven't had any. So I haven't had any. I haven't week? had one pain killer at all. Just, right from uh, day one. From day one, had the anti-inflammatories as as recommended, and uh, that's but not, it. But not the panadine for. No panadine for. No panadol. No nothing. How long did you um, take the inflammatories for? One week. One week. This is how it looks like at week two. Just under week two. Just under week two. All right. Two days short. How does that look? If we can take it from the top. Awesome. Looks and great. Let's take this strapping away and then we're going to remove the stereo strips and we're going to cut the suture ends. And we'll be able to have a peek at how much swelling that we have. Doesn't look like there's a lot to me. So this procedure was the chevron bimunectomy. You'll be able to see the, the length of the incision. Back the, the stem strip, we should be able to just see the end of the suture. We're going to slip that and then we're going to come over to the other side. Snip this end, and that's it. So that's pretty much what's involved in suture removal. The rest of it is internal and absorbable. Let's give that a little wash. You can see the skin incisions already closed up. This is just a little bit of hydrogen peroxide. So bruising wise, maybe a little bit here where the local anesthetic injections were given. Maybe a little bit around here, not a lot. And as mentioned, yeah, there really isn't a lot of swelling. Now the reason behind that is because of the compressive dressing that was worn also because we've been using that post-op um, boot but most importantly I know this lovely lady has been resting Indeed. And, and has been elevating the foot up and of all the ways of minimizing swelling including taking anti-inflammatories but the most uh, the best way of doing it is elevating your foot up and I really have I've been able to do it do it most of the time thanks to the family okay looks so different <laughs> now let's go through that taping method we're just going to apply a little bit of betadine along the incision line You're not going to need to do this. Okay. That's just for today because we cut the suture ends. Okay. Now, this, where we cut the suture ends, those little tiny holes, they'll be closed up in about 24 hours. Okay. And then you can get this wet. Oh, wow. After we yeah. oh, great. So you won't need this bit. Okay. Uh, 
With the strappy, we're going to use this stuff, mm -hmm. Hyperfix. It's a hypoallergenic tape. Mm -hmm. And we're going to use two strips of this. And I'll give you some of this so you don't have to go searching for it. But you can buy from most pharmacy pharmacies. Mm -hmm. If you can't find Hyperfix, there are equivalents to it. Okay. So, with the taping, what we want to do is just hold the toe down mm -hmm. because the tendon on the top wants to, your, not that yours is bad, but it wants to pop the toe up a little bit, right. so we're going to push it down, uh -huh. not across because there is no bunion anymore. Okay. So we stick the tape at that joint, push the toe down, uh -huh. stabilize it, pull the tape and stick on. Because it's tape, it's just not strong enough. So we're going to use two strips. Gotcha. Put the tape on at the joint. Push it down. Hold it. Give it a good amount of tension. And stick it on. And when you look at it, it should look mm, right. nice straight. and straight. Okay. Now we've got a bit of a gap between the big toe and the mm -hmm. second toes. The second toes will come back around. Right. But there's no urgency on that. Now we're going to make a little spacer. Mm -hmm. Now some people wear the tape and the spacer at the same time. Some people don't. Some people hate the spacer. If you do, you will only tape. Okay. If you're in a closed-in shoe, you could probably just use this the spacer on its own. Okay. So the spacer like that. And the reason for the spacer? Um, is purely to hold the toe nice and straight, okay. just like the tape, right. while that joint capsule that I repaired on the inner side is healing. Okay. So this is an, an alternative to the taping. So if you have a closed-in shoe, that will stay in place. Oh, wow. If you're in a sandal or something like that, it'll just pop out. So right. that's right. when you will tape. Should hold it pretty straight. Cool. So. And this spacer, I normally make it week three, but once again, we're going to make it for you a little bit earlier so you can enjoy your holiday <laughs> without having to come back here. So that pink stuff just makes it hard. Right. Playing with this is actually more fun than operating. <laughs> Does that feel too thick? Well, no, because I'm, I mean, I'm. Good. No, it's, it doesn't. It's, it's not bothering you, good. No. Now we're just going to mark the top so you don't put it upside down. We're going to let that harden uh -huh. and within a, a minute or so, it'll be done. And you'll start wearing that from next week. Wow, okay. So I'm going to redress you just like okay. we were. Uh -huh. And in one week's time, you're going to cut that off. You're going to start the taping straight away in. and put the spacer in. Oh, that's awesome. That's great. There we go.